Hello friends, this video on carbon and its compound part 25 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 24. We'll study two important carbon compounds to use commercially. They're called ethanol and ethanoic acid. We'll study these two in details. Ethanol and ethanoic acid. Uh, ethanol is C2H5OH is the IUPAC name and the common name is ethyl alcohol as I told you and it's just alcohol also called just alcohol because it is widely used so when you say alcohol you are you mean ethanol ethyl alcohol and it's widely used correct it is produced on large scale from sugarcane crop you know sugarcane it is generally produced from sugarcane crop and sugarcane juice is used to pr produce molasses, which is fermented to produce alcohol. So you have a molasses, you ferment it, you get alcohol. Also called ethanol. So that's how you get it from sugarcane. So it has some physical properties. It is colorless liquid. It has a pleasant smell. It has a burning test. It is a volatile liquid. It has a low boiling point of 78 degrees Celsius. It is lighter than water. It mixes easily with uh, uh, water in any proportion. That means even if you take 90% uh, of ethanol, 10% water will mix. So any proportion it mix. Solid and solubility is very high because of the OH group. And if you know hydrogen H2O, this guy has a plus, sorry, this minus, there is plus. OH group is there, so it is soluble in water. Generally, you see the carbon compounds are not soluble in water, but this guy is soluble because of the OH group. You should remember this that the alcohols are generally soluble in water. Why? Because it has OH group. It is a covalent compound and it is neutral. There is no effect on litmus paper for this. Correct? It's neutral. And there's something called rectified spirit which we used. Uh, a lot in the industry and there is nothing but ethanol with 5% water that means uh, we have 95% ethanol and 5% water this is used extensively in the industry now we'll take the chemical properties of ethanol uh, it follows combustion oxidation it reacts with sodium it uh, dehydrates and it reacts with ethanoic acid we'll take all this one by one for combustion you know that uh, alcohol or ethanol is highly inflammable liquid. It catches fire very easily and starts burning. Very easily it catches fire. The reaction is like this. You have C2H5OH. You burn with oxygen. Combustion happens. You get carbon dioxide, water, light and heat. Ethanol is also a clean fuel for car because it gives harmless gas that is CO2. There is no sulfur. There is no nitrogen. No other gas comes, only carbon dioxide and water vapor comes. So it is also used as clean fuel for car. Oxidation, as I told, is a controlled uh, combustion. So when you have this uh, alcohol and then you use this nascent oxygen, nascent oxygen, this is a very strong oxidizing agent, right? You get this from either alkaline KMnO4 or you also get from acidified potassium dichromate right so this is a uh, alkaline potassium permanganate or you get acidified uh, potassium dichromate anything you can use that has a, a very strong oxidizing agent that gives a nascent oxygen like this that converts ethanol to ethanoic acid it gives water so this is the reaction that happens so you have ethanol you go for combustion you get the acid Please note all the alcohols can be oxidized to corresponding carb carboxylic acids in the presence of strong oxidizing agents such as alkaline potassium permanganate or acidified potassium dichromate. Correct. Then the, the next reaction was the reaction with sodium. So alcohol reacts with sodium to give a hydrogen gas and sodium ethoxide. For example, you have the sodium, you have this ethanol, you react this, uh, you get Sodium ethoxide is a salt and hydrogen gas. This is a salt actually. Right? You get a salt and you get a hydrogen gas. And this reaction is used to test ethanol. So you have to test ethanol, you can just add sodium to it. If it gives this effervescence with hydrogen gas, 
you can say that it is a ethanol. Dehydration, it means removal of hydrogen molecule from any substance. So I have my ethanol and I use this uh, sulfuric acid and this temperature 170 degrees Celsius. You see that this guy got converted into ethene and my water molecule is kicked out, right? Water molecule is kicked out from this. So dehydration can also happen. You can remove water molecule from ethanol to get ethene. And here, please note, sulfuric acid is acting as a dehydrating agent. Dehydrating agent is an agent which removes water from any compound. The last reaction was a reaction of ethanol with ethanoic acid. So ethanol reacts with ethanoic acid to give a sweet smelling ester, sweet smelling, it tastes sweet, sweet and called ethyl ethanoid and this reaction is called esterification. So yeah, I have this ethanol, I have this ethanoic acid, I use some sulfuric acid and this is nothing but my ester, right? Ester and this is called ethyl ethanoid and hence water. So you add alcohol with acid, you get a sweet smelling substance called this ester and this process is called esterification. So test of ethanol, if I want to test ethanol, you can use a sodium ethyl test, you add sodium, you get hydrogen gas, the reaction as I just told, or you can use an ester test, for a alcohol you add the carboxylic acid, you get a sweet smelling ester, correct. Now I will take the uses of ethanol, ethanol is used to manufacture paints, perfume, dyes, rubbers, etc. Ethanol is also used to dissolve organic compounds, as I told, organic compounds most of the organic compounds are insoluble in water, so you can use ethanol to dissolve them. So it is used as solvent. It is also used to manufacture medicines and cough syrups. Most of the cough syrup have has ethanol. It is also used as fuels in the car. It is also used to manufacture alcoholic drinks. It is used as antiseptics too. Ethanol. But there are some harmful effects of ethanol too. When you consume this ethanol in large quantity, when you consume in large quantity, it, it depresses the central nervous system. It lacks coordination, it creates confusion, drowsiness, and you, you must have seen a drunk guy, right? It behaves very weird. That's because of ethanol. Ethanol effect has depressed that person's nervous system. The sense of judgment, sense of timing, the muscular coordination, everything is impaired with the intake of ethanol. It also lead to blood, vision, dizziness, and vomiting, and that's why you you must be uh, you must have heard that a lot of people uh, uh, face car accidents when they drunk and drive because it leads to blood, vision, dizziness, and vomiting. And heavy drinking can also lead to death. So please don't drink. We have something called denatured ethanol. I'll tell you why denatured ethanol concept has come because ethanol has a huge industry use, right? This is a big industry solvent. But this guy is also used to uh, make liquor, right? Liquor, the alcohol, the liquor which we drink. Now, but we want to control the liquor thing, right? We don't want a lot of liquor around and people uh, get impacted with this. So what government has done is, but this guy, government is making this uh, ethanol unfit for drinking by adding poisonous substance like methanol. So in the ethanol, ethanol is good actually, you know, you can drink it also, it's good fuel also. But if you add this guy to methanol, this becomes poisonous. And that's what the government does because if ethanol plus methanol combination, ethanol plus methanol combination is a poison for human, that means this guy ethanol which is uh, sold widely for industrial use will not be used now for making drinks but it is okay for industrial use right because it is used as a solvent so that's called denatured ethanol where you mix ethanol with methanol to make it poisonous so that it should not be misused to make thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests Get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.